What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to the free to play series episode 4 and we have made some major progress in so many areas utilizing only one 6 star champion. Yes, I'm a little bit late to the party, I should have had around 2 or 3 by now, but it's actually blown my mind how far I've managed to take this account with that limitation of the one 6 star, which I'm going to be speaking about and showcasing all of my teams to take on all of the different areas. Um, also, for the first ever time in the Classic Arena, we actually ended off in the gold tier, which I've been trying to do for the past two weeks. I just kept falling short. It's like I'd get into gold, right? And then overnight while I'm sleeping, once the reset happens, I just get pushed all the way back down because I just don't have the power in my team at the moment. But it was really cool to just bag this. As if we have a look in the challenges, right? Um, there's a mission where we have to stay in there for two ranking periods consecutively. So we're going to be trying to do that to get 100,000 silver, which would be great for ranking up artifacts, for instance. But the main goal is trying to get the three level five bonuses for the Great Hall development. So if we have a look in here, uh, we've kind of been focusing into defense percent as my priority. Um, usually I'd be going into accuracy, but I feel like with the perception and the forge, I might be able to get the accuracy stats just from the, um, the bonus stats alone, right? But I might change my mind, but for now I feel like defense is going to really help out my miscreated monster as he's very low in terms of those base stats. And we've also unlocked the Ultra of Souls, which is huge, and we are going to be summoning all of them today. And if I use my coins, I should have eight and then one of these ones. And of course, with the wish list, we'll be hoping for Brimstone, for Raphalos, for Clan Boss, or just bosses in general. But I would have to index some accuracy to make that happen. And then also the three epic champions that's been carrying this account to some crazy milestones out there. So I guess to start this off, um, let's just go into the arena and pick up that chest and see if we can get another shard from this. But let me know, how's your free to play journeys going for anyone getting involved? Have you got any new top tier champions and all of that good stuff? Or have you just been enjoying it and watching all the episodes from the creators out there? Which I'm actually gonna bring up the website to see how everyone's doing in today's episode as well. All right, what did we get? Oh, we got 45 gems, that's pretty huge. Okay, come on, be good. Five star, I would love some crit rate or some crit damage in there. Even this, um, kind of lackluster gear here, but we're just going to keep it for now for maybe Faction Wars progression stuff. Uh, Tag Team Arena, we actually got some coins, which is great, because if we save up 1,000, we can get 300 energy, which would be great for some campaign farming, which I definitely need to do. And the main reason for that is not only getting six star champions, but if we have a look here, this is actually one of the primary reasons I never six-starred my second champion yet, is this champion training tournament, which yesterday, the top points wasn't crazy. Like, look at this, guys. We have got a great chance here, if all I do for the next three days or two days in champion training, to get an eternal soul stone, a legendary skill tome, and if we can get this far, another legendary book as well for Raphalos. So let me know in the comment section below, do you think that I should be pushing like hardcore first place or should I just carry on what I've been doing and trying to take down all different areas at the same time? I don't know, it, like obviously Eternal Souls has got a massive value, but if we manage to, but if we pull a legendary, is that going to hold that much value because we can't use legendaries outside the free ones, right? But an epic one could be huge. Like imagine a six star on, on a miscreated monster, right? It would be massive. I feel like I could at least bag second place if this guy decides to skyrocket it. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to invest all of my energy probably over these two days into this because there's lots of good rewards on the side as well. Uh, makes it worthwhile, right? So let's go have a look into the champions. So Raphalos, of course, is six star. And we've kind of left it on a five star ascension because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a challenge saying, yo, YST, can you make it to a six star ascension, please? And then I just won't have the resources to do it, right? So we've been holding off for that for now. Um, in terms of books, we managed to get one here and two over here, which is actually very good for the damage output of the overhead slash. And masteries, um, of course, completely finished. I'm down to the war master because we're using them for these boss encounters and also the defensive tree, down to the Retribution to try and get some counterattacks out for that decreased defense. And then Miscreating Monster, of course, is fully mastered, but we haven't got the value of the War Master yet because he's not a six star, but he is fully ascended and fully booked as well. And got some pretty cool stats here. 
Um, so we're going at 170 speed or just under it. We're over capped on crit rate, which is fine. At least we've got 100%. And sustainability going pretty well here at 35,000 HP and just under 1.5k defense. And some decent accuracy to crowd control in the Doom Tower, which has been one of my biggest progressions so far, which we'll show soon. And this is where I've kind of got that, where do I go next for my six star? Because someone like Stagnite, or should I say Miscreated Monster, is a massive tank without requiring six stars. And that's one thing that I've really noticed. He's carried me so far in the spiders. Um, in the Doom Tower, he's staying alive. And of course, it could be better with those base stats alone. But he is doing the job and also being my campaign farmer, does it 100% of the time in around 1 minutes and 15 seconds. So... You know, the only value that I would be getting is more sustainability, which will hold value for Doom Tower and Classic Arena, and also in the clan boss. But he's doing it so well. He's doing it so well without it, whereas someone like Stagnite might benefit more from that. I don't know. I don't know. But he is coming through. I managed to book a bit up of Stagnite. It's a really tough decision because we don't have the books in him, but we do already have it miscreated. And it does seem like a no-brainer just to index that six star into him straight away. Probably will be what I do um, for this champion training. But in terms of Stagnite, we've actually got some pretty good stats on him as well. So we're going at 199 speed, going faster than my Rathalos to get that decreased defense out there so we can nuke harder, right? But look at these boots. This is massive. You ready for this? Brace yourselves. Speed boots, speed ascension... Like, come on. <laughs> and a speed artifact as well. It's like, I had to do one reroll because they give us the free ones, right? For the Chaos Dust, once you unlock that feature. But I did one reroll attempt and we procced the speed and I was like, I'm using these resources and taking it all the way. It's not six star, which is fine, but this is boots that's going to carry me throughout my journey uh, for the entirety of this competition, right? Um, Gallic, do you know what? I'm actually, I'll speak about Gallic very soon. And um, we have been preparing the food, of course. Um, don't mind the ascension here. It was just for a challenge because I needed a five-star ascension and it wasn't retroactive, unfortunately. But we've been preparing the food. We could technically make a six-star right now. But I've been thinking, do I sacrifice Gallic? Do we burn him to the ground? Now, he's been a huge carry to get to, I would say, 12-3 Brutal. But at that point, he kind of cuts out because we got Raphalos. We got Miscreated Monster kind of coming in and doing a better job here. But four faction was in particular. I'm not sure if to keep him or just to sacrifice him. It just feels very bad sacrificing your starter champion. It's something I never like to do. But we do have the ultimate Gallic, which can kind of carry that on in a way, right? Carry on that legacy and keep the theme of Gallic in my free-to-play series. But let me know. Should I use him as a chicken? Do you know what it is? Because if we look at Raphalos, right? Decreased defense, non-conditional, just a placement on the A1 here, right? Of course, we don't have the book values yet. And then he also brings in damage of an increased speed on himself. Now, when you talk about Gallic, he does um, a five turn cooldown with a decreased defense, which is conditional upon having multiple debuffs active. And then he places that increased speed on himself. So, in essence, Raphalos is like the legendary, way better version, of course, than Gallic. So, I'm not going to have a value for him outside of faction wars in these areas. He's just been subbed out. We've got better options now. But it would be very useful five star food. We'll see. Um, Royal Guard, of course, coming through that enemy max HP is great. And Ultimate Gallic has been an absolute game changer, especially with this passive for the clan boss. Because on the Void Affinity, we can actually use this to remove those stuns, fully heal this champion and last longer over the course of the battle. And brings in those AoE burns and Termitor manipulation for the Spider's Lair. So he's been huge, definitely going to be a 6 star at some point on this account. I've been loving Ultimate Gallic. Um, this guy's actually been pretty cool as well. Um, probably for Never Spider progression, I might be using it as we climb the Doom Tower because he removes all debuffs and then also replaces it with the continuous heals. Um, he's got some bombs which I don't care about, but the block buffs is very powerful as well on this A1 skill. So he's definitely going to have some use. Um, I actually did fuse the Justicar for the challenges. Let's talk about these champions in a second. So challenges or missions, should I say. Uh, we managed to go through and fuse the Justicar with the res. It actually took me a long time to get a Diabolus because I kept feeding them. But we ascended them, we got the champion and unlocked our Sacred Shards. And in terms of what I got, if we head into here. Uh, last time we got a Ripper, which was a big rip. But this time we got a Flesh Terror. And I was like, for God's sake, cut me some slack here, Raid, with these Sacred Pools. All of my top tier pools have been coming out from Ancient Shards, right? But Flesh Terror comes through with some buff durations, I guess. Uh, pretty decent and decreasing the duration of any buffs as well. But I'm probably not going to use this champion because we actually pulled a Hope. 
who's not top tier, but she just does what Flesh Terror does to a higher caliber, in my opinion, because she also increases those durations, but places a shield as well, um, based off 25% uh, of this champion's max HP. So adding a shield value is more beneficial than just um, decreasing those durations, right? Or increasing. She also has a block buffs on the A1 and has that decreasing effect on the A3. So if I was to max out any, it would probably be her to like a rank 5 or something. But I'm not requiring those at the moment. And we also picked up this dude. We had all of the decreased defense coming out. Who comes through with AoE decreased defense, which is solid. But of course we've got Stagnite, so I don't need him. But he does have a HP burn, right? Where is it? On this one here with a decreased accuracy. So this can be very clutch. It is on a four turn cooldown once booked, but it might have some value looking forward. So definitely someone that I'm going to keep vaulted for the future. Uh, there's the Justice card. There's Excruciator for something else that I needed. And I've just been keeping all of my epics. Like, I could have easily sacrificed these epics that got to like multiple six stars by now. But I feel like holding on for them to now for now can actually have some value in the future, right? So, okay, um, let's have a look in here. So clan. Um, give us something good, some energy. Ooh. I actually got 100 energy uh, before this. And clan boss, what do we get? Uh, we actually just fell short. I think I got 11.3 million from three keys. But I kind of waited too long to do my fourth key. Um, what do we get here? Some defense. Okay. But we are doing this uh, pretty well. I'm actually just going to do the normal for now on a quick battle. And then I will index the rest of them into hard later, right? So here we go. Uh, 5.2 million, 29 million damage dealt. That's pretty cool. And just as I keep forgetting, I need to put the extractor open so we can log our process here. Make sure you guys are doing that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to unlock um, what you've been doing. So you can get some more points onto the leaderboards. All right, three, two, one. Are we logged in yet? There we go. That's what I like to see. That's actually pretty good damage coming out from Raphalos, right? 3.6 million. And then also 883,000 from Ultimate Gallic here. Uh, pretty cool. Do you know, while I'm here, should I just leave hard for today? Because I did fall short. It is spirit affinity, so Raphalos isn't going to be dealing as much damage. I think I'm just going to go with this one today. It's fine. I need to stay on top of it, but I just wanted to do everything in today's episode. Because it is a fresh week, right? So almost 8 million damage on normal. That's pretty cool as well. That is pretty cool. And remember, we've only got one 6-star champion. So once we start getting some more War Master, it's going to be massive, right? Um, set in here, we got, I've been trying to stay on top of these daily challenges to try and get some of these resources for the Raphalos set, which will be pretty huge. And um, we've got any Ancient Shards, we've got one in six hours, I'll definitely be summoning that. Some Appreciation Packs, I appreciate it, let's go. And I do want to summon all of these, so I guess let's do this one. I actually got to a 25% progressive chance, right, and I made a big mistake, guys. i got to put my hands up and admit to this. I was summoning my Ancient Shards for Turagi the Frog yesterday, right? And I got to the 25% chance. I was like, damn, I really want to get this dude. So I actually made the decision to spend some gems and some shards. I believe it was 270 um, gems, right? For three Ancients. I did proc an Epic, but that's where I got the hope from. So it was a bit unfortunate. But outside of this one, who would I want here? Seeker is massive. Turn me to fields, increase attack, unlock so many compositions. Hatatsu is huge as well, decrease attack with leech and stuff. I think I might go with Seeker here. And how bad would it be if I summoned her? <laughs> I had to sacrifice it for five star food. When we get here, we got a a lone blade rehab. What do you do, buddy? So each critical hit fills this champion's turn meter. Increase defense. Alright, we're not gonna need this dude at the moment. But let's head into here. Let's see. I'm really anxious to know what we're gonna get from this one. Actually, let's buy this stuff here first. Soulstone summons. Let's start off with the eight small ones. We're going to try and get two more. Uh, somehow. What are we going to get? We've got a Glorial. Come on, give us something that's on our wish list. An epic. At least if it's a rare. Oh, Mikulus. Okay, four star. Could be good for like the exchange rates. We'll see. Another rare. Wyvern Bane. That's somebody that I was actually summoning a ton of at the start. Couldn't stand her. <laughs> She's pretty good rare though. And we got a Bog Walker. Also a pretty decent rare. I believe he does decrease attack. Oh my gosh. We're getting ripped, guys. We're getting absolutely ripped. Scrapper. We don't have any void res at this current day. Outside of Doom's Reach. Oh, here's an epic. Come on. Be on the wish list. Golden Reaper. Actually not a bad one to pick up if we do pull her in the future. Not a bad pickup. Another rare. 
Chaplin, three star, and the final one's gonna be give us a Raffalos. We're chasing that. Another epic? Rector Draft, top tier, but we just don't have her. All right, what are we gonna get from here? Well, we will find out once we get some silver. <laughs> we need some silver. All right, let's sell some crappy gear. We don't need defense. Crit damage on Cruel, I'll take it. This piece was like, eh, let's keep that for now. No speed in the divine set, but actually, you know, I will sell this one. I don't think I'll ever use that. All right, here we go. Bring it home. Don't give us some crappy rare. We need something top tier here. Give it to us. Give it to us. Legendary Raphalos, please. Oh, Black Knight. Black Knight. It could have been the wish list. It could have been the wish list. But because we can't use legendaries, what is the exchange rate on that? So if we ask to sell this, oh, it's the big coins. Damn. I'd have loved to maybe get like an extra 500 and get a reroll, potentially. But man, it could have, should have, would have been a Raffalos. That would have been huge. Can you imagine a four star on him? That stat boost would have been insane for this account. Absolutely insane. So in terms of the missions, what, what's kind of holding us back here? So we need to get some superior magic potions, which I do need to wait until Wednesday. It's a bit annoying as this is halting my progression here. Um, but these ones are kind of retroactive. We upgraded the champion to level 60. We got to silver in classic arena. We cleared these areas in brute when so many of them are pretty easy. Um, the two six-star champions, so I do need to make my mind up by Wednesday of what I'm going to do here. But I'm going to just need a bit more food to, in order to get that done. And then we will to just keep progressing slowly but surely, picking up a bunch of gems on the way. Which I think I'm actually going to start farming the um, areas in the Minotaur now. So if we go into Minotaur, I can do stage 15. And, you know, we got fully mastered on him, fully mastered on him, and now we're working on Stagnite. And it goes pretty well. We do it pretty decently here. So decrease attack, come through the nuke, and boom. Nice. Um, I should be setting some presets here, to be fair. Um, just to kind of save the ally protection for wave two in case we do take a smack. But it's completely fine. There's those spheres. There's actually a stage in the Doom Tower, which I do want to try live with you guys today as well. So we're going to try that out because I was stuck on stage 49, which is actually insane progression to be able to get that far. Boom. Go through the Spirit Step Slash. We've got some ally protection. And this is allowing us to eat up that first hit of the boss to keep our champion alive. So boom. There we go. We're going to lock those out as well. And we've done this multiple times. I've never actually failed so far. Uh, but, you know, if I can bring an extra six on to Miscreated Monster, I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot more viable and a lot more quicker as well. Like you can see there, he gets down to around a quarter HP. And we do want to keep him alive, right? There we go. We just need that buff to finish. And then now we can start ramping up that damage. Decrease defense. I like protection. Boom. 57,000 damage. This one actually might be my fastest one so far. There we go, 106,000 there. I don't know what my fastest is. There. I'm going to have to check on the leaderboard again. Need one more big nuke coming out from Raphalos and we should be good. And boom. There we go. So 1 minute and 30 seconds. It actually was my best time. There we go. 1 minute 34. And this is allowing us to start farming masteries other than wasting gems in order to do it because I can now convert those gems into the masteries from energy and it'll be a lot more cost efficient whilst also ranking up champions in the process. So that's pretty sweet, managing to get that done. Um, in terms of spiders, actually, I do want to show you from the website just to give you some clarity of what's been happening here. So screen capture. There we go. So. I'm not on the top of many leaderboards, as I mentioned. We haven't got multiple six stars, but we managed to do Shogun Stage 1 with a team like this. Just try to get some points on the leaderboard, right? Um, Sand Devil, not really dabbling into that as of now, outside of just points for the leaderboards. Um, Force Keep, we haven't been pushing up to Stage 14 yet. I think I was doing Stage 13 for that one. Um, Magic Keep, we are on... Oh, we have not got to Stage 15 yet on this one. Probably just below. Maybe stays 13 at a slower time, but that'll probably change because I've not farmed this in ages um, since doing Miscreated Monster in the first two weeks. Um, Spirit Keep, yeah, that's probably not going to be in any of these. Um, Arcane Keep, we are down here on ninth place, which is pretty cool. It's just going to be time stuff, but I did get to stage 15 on that one using this team here. Uh, Minotaurs, 
Um, this one, well, we just did one minute 34, so we should be, once it updates, go down to around fourth place on this one, or fifth place. So that's pretty cool, being able to climb the leaderboard on that one. And um, spiders, as you see here, I am actually on the top of the leaderboard here. Um, the only person that's done stage 12 so far, which is pretty cool, right? I'm pretty sure everyone's going to start flying through it, but we did it with this team, which I'll show today. Uh, you know, we got the burns from Ultimate Gallop, we got Royal Guards, Gorgorab, Miss Great Monster for the Shield, and he's been a massive carry. And anywhere else that we kind of popped up here? I'm um, Dragon, not really gone past stage 13, if I'm honest. And yeah, just kind of slowly but surely going through. But in terms of my points, I'm actually not that far out of some of the top hitters here. Like, as a group, as a collective, we're a bit low at the moment. But it's pretty close in comparison to everyone else, right? But we got 1,461 points um, through what we got so far. But if we look up here in some of these ones, like, that's pretty insane points that are looking up here. Um, Hell Hades, not far off Hell Hades here, I guess. Um, who else in here? So MTG, what did he get? He's a little bit underneath at the moment. Um, odd one, I'm pretty sure will be pretty high. One nine six eight. HWZ cranking it out here. Cobra as well, he's been doing really well. But obviously it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, we've still got three months to do this challenge, and I'm pretty sure this will drastically change in the coming weeks. Uh, but I do want to see the community leaderboard. How are you guys doing? So, all right, so Saf's cat up here, Great Hall development at 32, that's insane. Let me know if any of you guys are on this leaderboard here. All right, uh, Taxi Marina Bronze 2, I actually need to progress in that myself. Okay. Um, normal campaign, um, how's everyone doing in Brutal campaign? In Nightmare, actually, let's see. Oh, some pretty good progression here from a bunch of you guys. Um, normal Doom Tower, the hardest stage was 39. Okay, I think this is where I am. Actually, no, I'm... Wait, maybe? Oh, so maybe it is just 39. Okay. And then Hydra Boss. Oh, Hades at the top here. Pretty impressive. A million damage already. I don't even think I've unlocked the Hydra yet. But I definitely know I haven't. Uh, Fire Knight, Saf's Cat at the top. Spiders. Stage 14. Interesting. What did he use? So he went with a Farrakhan. And a pain keeper, reset the cooldowns are miscreated. Pretty cool strategy. And then Minotaur's 52 seconds with this team. Pretty impressive. I'm pretty sure there will be six stars here. Arcane keeps. And I'm actually interested in the Shogun as well. Someone got to stage four. Pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. And also, actually, you know, while we're here, I did want to show you on this as well. I actually put up community posts every Sunday, but I try my best to. I was asking, who do you guys feel is the best starter champion from the promo codes from this free-to-play free, free -play series, I guess? These were, like, the main ones I thought everyone picked. And interestingly, everyone thought Deacon Armstrong. 60% here, 18% for Miscreating Monster, Alora 14%, and Mordecai really surprised me with an 8% pick out of 7,200 votes so far. Pretty crazy, right? I really expected Mordecai to be way up, maybe second or first place. But it's very interesting. So yeah, as I just showed, stage 12, we managed to get it done in 4 minutes and 47 seconds. But I'm not going to be farming, I'm going to be doing stage 10. And Dragon's Lair, I'm just doing 4 to 6 stars on stage 13. Um, you know, it's going to be 4 to 6 stars all the way up until here. And I don't feel like I'm going to be able to get to stage 20 anytime soon. So we're just going to be farming that for now, it's completely fine. Uh, Fire Knight, I do need to get some progression cracking, uh, maybe get down here a little bit, but right now stage 10 once again, uh, we're not really focusing on the Sand Devils at the moment, right? But let's just, kind of to wrap up this episode, let's just do a Sand Devil one. So as you see here, it's actually very interesting. So if we look at best teams, in my clan in particular, who's actually got a lot of the creators in it, only two people has managed to beat this so far. And they're using one, two, three, six stars with a very top tier five stars as well. And there's also three six stars in this one. Um, and if we go down here, I don't even think anyone's passed here. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's actually pretty crazy. 42, I think this is the one that's been holding a lot of progression for people. It was a really tough one. And this was actually the reason why I chose Miscreated Monster because he brings in that crowd control so we can lock out the Cupidus so he doesn't keep counterattacking with Venus. So he was a massive carry to be able to get through this. And you can see that I've kind of got versatility going on here, right? But stage 49 is very tough. I can get through it. I can get through it. The issue is the Skull Lord Vargals on wave 2 and 3. So if we just go increase attack here. So we get the stun out. There we go. That's kind of what we like to see. We go through the massive nuke. And I would kind of like reroll to kind of keep that going. But I can just take out as much damage as possible here. 
So the aim is you want to take out Morley on this one. Actually, no, Yannicka as well. Let's get Yannicka out there. Boom, take her out. And we're going to try to deal some massive damage to her. We've got a weak hit, unfortunately. Get an ally protection on from now. Sophia. Oh, this is actually a pretty bad start. So, all right. Let's just fear them all up. That's fine. That's going to allow us a um, 50% chance to kind of cycle their abilities around, right? We're gonna, now we're going to try and save the cooldowns of Rathalos for the next one. And this is kind of what I've been doing to kind of go through all of the stages. Because you want to keep, keep all of your skills on cooldown for the next wave and then do the same thing. So let's take out the Valkyrie. Uh, two more turns for that revival. We do kind of want to keep it alive. Can we get a stun on you? Perfect. And now I'll just focus on him. Take him out. One more turn for that. Get some counters from Valkyrie. Right, Big Duke. Oh, we keep getting the weak hits from Rathalos here. Such a nuisance. All right, now we can get a bit of a heal and a revive on here. We don't want him to die. The shield is now cracked. Get a stun on. <laughs> it definitely didn't take this long last time, guys. Definitely didn't take this long last time. So many weak hits. So many weak hits. Can we just get a quad hit? Perfect. All right, so on this wave here, he's actually going to mitigate our max HP, and we don't have a way of restoration here. And because we can't take them out super quick, it's a bit of a nuisance. So let's try to deal some instant damage. Ooh, we, we did. Damn. All right, well, it's put us in a good situation, but also a bad situation. <laughs> no. Um, maybe I just didn't have my increased attack open last time. But Yannick is going to come through and absolutely annihilate us. And if we put the ally protection on now, it could get dicey. So. Oh, we're just going to have to just allow them to do it. Damn, okay. Oh, wait, we got a stun round again. Stun. Ooh, okay, we got some of them. It's not ideal. We might actually beat this. Oh, it's the provokes. Ah, it's the provokes. And some of them are two turn as well, just constant lockout. There's a stun. Okay. There is a stun. It's decree speed you. Keep you flowing slower because she's doing a massive heal now. Okay. They've done kind of all of their big damage, I believe. So let's just do the ally protection now. And then we can start fearing them. I think that'll be massive. We're just going to have to take the damage. We need to get the decreased defense out for Rathalos's big damage nuke. We usually sell that max HP is going down. If I don't do it correctly, I could just take a big smack. Actually, no, let's get a heal on here. Perfect. Ooh, increase attack would have been nice. Let's save that. Let's just keep doing damage to you. We're going to save that. We need to increase attack for the nuke, right? Let's get another stun out. There's a lot of crowd control going on here. A lot. Ooh, I'm actually really into this. Because this will actually get us to stage 50 of the Doom Tower, right? So increase attack. Ah, right, here we go. Can we get a big nuke? Ooh, nice. 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 This is massive. This is massive. The things that's possible with this synergy it blows my mind guys it absolutely blows my mind what we managed to achieve with one six star champion damn it's crazy look at that raffalos a miscreated monster army of two style absolutely annihilating plowing through the normal doom tower here let's see if we can do this as a final part do you know what we i just really hate the aura of raffalos here getting a call on my phone no stop distracting us Stop distracting us. Um, yeah, like I said, Raphalos isn't a universal aura. Let's take you out. This could get very hard because if we get the Sky Bond ramping up on the Griffin and we don't have blocked debuffs, could get dicey. Go for a massive nuke here. Take them out. Okay, so here on this first one, he's going to remove all buffs. So we're going to uh, not do that at all. Let's do A1s. A1s. So no buffs on this one. Okay, and this next one is going to send debuffs back and we don't have a block debuffs. So let's just save everything. We can tank at increased speed. Get a bit of a heal. Don't put decreased defense. Perfect. All right, save all of those. And now we can kind of do a massive form of damage for the next one. So you can only do the decreased speed there. So here, let's do A1. Or oh, we didn't get the decreased defense. That's fine. We'll get the ally protection on now, so we can tank up some of the hits. Perfect. And now we get decreased attack. Ooh, nice. 
increase attack. Tell me if it was not usually good, guys. Because he's going to be doing it according to us. Oh, they just stripped it off. Damage? Okay. This might be harder than I thought, but if I could start farming this, it would be massive. Do you know what? I feel like I'm overthinking it. Full auto. Full auto. <laughs> might be a bad idea. I'm just hoping to heal off the lifesteal. I just don't think we've got enough damage at the moment. Go. All right. Maybe Miss Creative Monster could solo it. If he was in... This is the thing. Maybe if Miss Creative Monster was in War Master, Spirit Affinity taking the weak hits, could be possible. But we're just not there quite yet. But that's a pretty good milestone. Being able to get through there to stage 50, really happy with that. And I'm pretty sure we'll start planning through some more stages as we rank up some more champions. But on that note, that is going to be all for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.